Jules here, back for day four of Ethany's 31 Days of Tarot. Today's prompt asks, what tarot books did you read in 2021 and would you recommend? I've gone through tons of tarot books in the last couple of years and I would highly recommend them all. Uh, today's selection is a handful of the ones that were most significant and impactful for me over the past year of my practice. The first and the very top of my list is the Fifth Spirit Tarot Guide by Charlie Claire Burgess. They are an incredible deck creator and writer, and this book is worth its weight in gold. It is a fabulous resource. The insights on all of the cards in this book are incredible. I also love that this book moves past traditional binary representations of masculine and feminine in the tarot. And the corresponding deck is the most inclusive that I have found in terms of representation. Um, and I reach for this book time and time again when I'm using the Fifth Spirit Tarot or really any other deck uh, in my collection because it's a fabulous resource. I cannot recommend it highly enough. Um, the next book on my list was a gift from a couple of dear friends of mine, and I adore it. It's Queering the Tarot by Cassandra Snow. Again, it's another book that moves past traditional binary representations of masculine and feminine and traditional sexuality and pushes tarot past those limits and uh, creates a resource that is far more inclusive. I, I adore this book. It has been a fabulous um, resource for approaching tarot in more expansive and inclusive ways, which is what I'm really trying to do with my practice, because ultimately tarot should be for every single person, and you should be able to see yourself represented in the cards. That's really important, and I feel like this uh, book is a really excellent way to incorporate more of this in my own practice and in what I'm presenting to the world. Um, the images in this book are for from the Urban Tarot, which is a fantastic uh, deck that... Um, I also have and use and love. Um, it's got a very urban landscape. It's very relevant to day-to-day -day big city experience and life. Um, and the images are really lovely and vibrant. You can see uh, one of them on the cover here. Um, it takes more of a Thoth approach to tarot, which is really interesting as I've traditionally worked more with RWS. So it's nice to be able to push past um, my comfort zone and look at something a little bit different. The third book that I want to talk about is one that I refer back to quite a lot. Um, it's Michelle T's Modern Tarot. It's a great resource for beginners to tarot, for intermediate practitioners, advanced. Uh, the insights that Michelle T provides for each of the cards, the, the writing is very extensive and there's a lot of um, new perspectives that have opened up my understanding to the cards in really beautiful ways. Um, and I'm very, very appreciative of this deck. It's a uh, deck book. <laughs> it's a wonderful resource. The next book that I wanted to talk about is um, Tarot on Earth by Tom Benjamin Tarot, otherwise known as Ben Jolivet. Um, this book is a fabulous resource. Um, ben takes um, a Tarot de Marseille approach to the cards. So it's focused on pip cards and numerology. So rather than looking at just swords and pentacles and cups and wands, uh, he looks at the numbers across the suits and how they correspond. So looking at fours throughout the suits, fives, etc. Um, is a really beautiful approach and I really um, appreciate all the insights that I've gotten from this. I actually have been working through this book with a friend in my tarot group and it's been really lovely to go chapter by chapter and look at all of the different um, it feels like a course on tarot and it's been really amazing. So there's different things on the courts, question and questions and context, uh, ethics, intuition. Um, it's, it's really a fabulous resource and I can't recommend it highly enough. Uh, the next book that I wanted to talk about is Kim San's uh, book. She is the creator of the, um, the Way of the Panda deck. And this book is just incredible. It is a fabulous uh, resource. Uh, she goes through all of the different cards and each of the major arcana cards has its own spread, which is fantastic. And it reads almost like a storybook in the most beautiful way. Um, like the Empress, uh, most of the pandas are named and it's put into a really beautiful, lyrical, lighthearted story context that um, is really, really lovely when you need a more gentle approach and a warm hug 
where the tarot is concerned, even some of the more challenging cards like the devil and the death card um, feel very nurturing in this book. Uh, it's been a really great resource working with my kids. They love the panda decks and working with the different archetypes in the context of these cozy, lovely little pandas. So this is a highly recommended book. I believe it's available on Amazon as well, not just with the deck. Um, the next book that I want to talk about is Nancy Hendrickson's Ancestral Tarot. Uh, I've been slowly working my way through this book. It's a fantastic resource if you want to get into ancestor work, obviously, uh, with tarot. This is something I struggle with a little bit, um, but I'm finding working through the book slowly has been really helpful. Um, reaching back a bit further in my family line is allowing me to create some roots for myself, which feels really good. Um, I love the way that the book is laid out. Um, it goes step by step. You work through um, different steps of working with a spirit guide, um, selecting who you're going to work with. There's a number of really incredible spreads in here that I've really enjoyed working through. Um, I especially like pairing this book with the Relative Tarot, which just was released in mass market, or uh, Antique Anatomy Tarot by Black and the Moon, both of those. I don't know, there's something maybe about the aesthetic or the colors. Um, it really works for bringing through the messages of this particular book and it's been really, really helpful for me. Um, last but certainly not least, as I said, there's so many books out there that are just wonderful. I feel bad restricting it to just a small number. Um, the last book I wanted to talk about is The Fabulous History of Tarot Art by Holly Adams Eastley and Esther Joy Archer, otherwise known as Holly Enchanted, and Celestial Esther uh, here on Instagram. Uh, they have the Wildly Tarot podcast, which is also fabulous. Um, yeah, so there's two parts. It comes with the box and then this beautiful, gorgeous hardcover book. Um, and the title reads Demystifying the Art and Arcana Deck by Deck. And what I love about this book is it goes through the origins and history of tarot. Um, there's some really amazing uh, imagery here that's really um, incredible artwork. And then it goes through tarot through the ages. So you get to see uh, different images and representations of the tarot deck from early days. And there's actually um, the Sola Busca, there's um, a number of cards at the very back of the book as well as reference points, which is really cool. Um, I did mention this in an earlier video as it's one of the um, things that I received for Christmas. I'm very lucky. Um, but it includes some of my um, favorite decks. And here, one of the decks that I started working with quite intensely uh, was a Wild Unknown deck. That was the first Wild Unknown tarot and actually Animal Spirit as well. Um, but that was the first deck that I really took a deep dive into tarot with. And I love seeing it represented in this book, along with Antique Anatomy and a number of other really incredible decks. Um, yeah, I really can't recommend this book highly enough. It's a fabulous resource if you're curious to explore the history of art and tarot. It's, it's really fascinating to take a wander through this journey with both of these incredible writers. Their insights are really fabulous. I uh, can't recommend it highly enough. So that's my kind of breakdown of the tarot books that particularly stood out for me for 2021. Um, I would love to hear any recommendations that you have below. Um, I'm always up for reading something new and different. Take care.